I'm joined now by Yoti Sharma of Verizon. Yoti, thanks very much for joining us today um, and um, participating in, in Telecom TV's coverage of the 5G AA Week. And I'd like to ask you, first of all, about Verizon's interest and involvement in the connected mobility sector. What's Verizon's approach here and why do you participate within the 5G AA? Yeah, thanks so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here at the 5G AA face-to-face in Berlin this week. And yeah, at Verizon, we have a lot of enterprise customers, both public and private sector. And automotive is a huge vertical of interest for Verizon. And for that, we've been building up to this day with a lot of technical enablers and technologies. So it's not only just 5G, but we've also been building our multi-access edge computing infrastructure, our hyper-precise location positioning services, which is centimeter level accuracy, which is absolutely essential for connected and autonomous vehicle of tomorrow. Um, so we've been working a lot in this space and working with the partners, auto OEMs, customers, ecosystem players, and our vendors to make sure that we can deliver on the promise of 5G to our mobility customers. So as you say, it's not just 5G, there's a number of different technologies that are all coming together um, to, to, to drive this sector, but what role does, does 5G and the associated technologies, what role does it play today? What's, what's possible today in this sector? Yeah, there's a lot that's possible today, in fact. And with 5G, our role has been, we started with the general member and we quickly realized that we need to be really a contributor and participant in this organization and take a leadership role. So we took that thought leadership and we are working with all the ecosystem partners that are members of 5GAA to drive this next generation of vehicles and next generation of mobility services, which will be great for the consumer, for the society, and bring those safety, traffic efficiency benefits that we all want as consumers of mobility. So with 5G AA, I think this is a great platform where we bring telecom and automotive two big industries together in one platform so that we can exchange ideas, build innovative solutions for the next generation vehicles. So it's not just 5G, it's many other technological enablers that are making it happen today. Now, we're still at relatively early days with, with 5G. 5G is still getting deployed, it's still getting upgraded, um, the specification's evolving. If we look five, six years ahead, when, we've, when 5G is more mature, um, it's more ubiquitous, what's going to be possible then in terms of connected mobility? What are some of the solutions and, and approaches that we're working on now to realise in the next decade? Yeah, 5G is a game changer for automotive industry and as they are going through once in a century transformation. It's a digital transformation, they're going once in a lifetime transformation of their architecture. We are there to support them with building our networks, which will be able to support these connected and autonomous vehicles of tomorrow and today. These are like data center on wheels, everybody knows that, they're generating massive amount of data and with 5G's high throughput, low latency, and reliability, these vehicles can really benefit from those capabilities. But we don't stop there. We're not just providing SIM connectivity, but we're moving on to solutions with 5GA. So we're building innovative solutions, whether it's V2X, network-based V2X communications, or hyper-precise location services that these vehicles can enjoy as well as we are also building multi-access edge computing infrastructure with our ecosystem partners, cloud providers, such that we can bring this compute within our network and reduce the end-to-end -end latency for the latency critical applications. So in five to 10 years, you will see some of the most innovative solutions coming into your vehicle as you drive and you'll be much more safer. You'll be not hitting that much traffic because you'll be alerted ahead of time and sky's the limit to the innovation. We can't wait to see what people build on 5G. So in order for us to realize these ambitions, there's a lot of work still required, um, and I'm sure there's many challenges that we need to, to face. What does the industry, or the industries, what do we need to do? How do we need to collaborate to make sure we realize our ambitions? Yeah, definitely, that's a great question. And I think it's not just the technology, but it's also regulatory aspects and business case behind these technologies that needs to be really 
clarified for the industry and the ecosystem. And that's where 5GAA here plays a crucial role in bringing all the stakeholders on one table, where we sit across for a week, discuss the technology, the business aspects, the regulatory aspects, all under one umbrella for the entire week. And that's a great opportunity for us to come and innovate together, which we normally wouldn't get otherwise. So I think that's the future, and that's where we see 5GA play, playing a crucial role and solving some of these challenges that lie ahead. One additional question I'd love to ask you. Uh, there's a lot of interest at the moment around non-terrestrial networks, satellite in particular. Um, I'd imagine that's got a role to play with connected mobility too. Yeah, this week I think satellite was a huge topic of discussion at 5GA in Berlin, and that provides augmented connectivity. So wherever there are white spaces, we'll be able to help our customers fill those gaps and provide connectivity. Cellular networks are going to be the main stake, but at the same time, we can fill those gaps with our SATCOM partners and providers we'll bring in. And with 5G, release 17, 3GPP standards are now defining, integrating those non-terrestrial network in a standard way to our terrestrial networks, which will allow us to drive lower costs and integrate them seamlessly so that the end customers would not even know that you are on a terrestrial network or a satellite network. But they'll benefit from being connected all the time, everywhere. A ubiquitous connected world will be a better world. Exciting times. Jyoti, thank you very much indeed for joining us on Telecom TV. Thank you.